Most things that could have gone wrong did go wrong for investors in 2022. So will 2023 be a better year for the markets? To answer that question, we're joined by Chief Investment Strategist for J.P. Morgan Global Wealth Management, Tom Kennedy. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Tom, can you give us an overview of what investors experienced in 2022? For the last 30 years, investors have been afforded the luxury of an inverse correlation between stocks and bonds. So what does that mean? When equities have gone down, generally they've been offset by gains in bonds. Unusually in 2022, both stocks and bonds suffered very steep losses. And as the dust is settling on 2022, it looks like it's going to be the worst year on record for a balanced portfolio. And then as we reflect, the reason for the pain is because inflation was entirely too high and a central banker like the Fed endeavored to hike rates materially. And in fact, it looks like it'll be the fastest rate hiking cycle in the last 40 years. So the year of the superlative is nearly to an end. And heading into 2023, what should investors keep in mind? I think the most important thing to keep in mind is that interest rates are going to have an effect on the economy, and it's more likely than not that the U.S. will be in a recession. From a central banker's perspective, higher interest rates should change the behaviors of regular citizens. For instance, if we walk into a Chase or a J.P. Morgan branch and we see higher interest rates, we'd be less likely to borrow and more likely to save. Now, that should have consequence on lower growth and lower inflation in the future. Importantly, though, this is going to take time. Investors have become very impatient in this process, but we're already seeing the seeds of the desired impact for a central banker. The most interest rate sensitive sector of America is housing. Existing home sales this year are already down 30%. Mortgage applications are down about 50%. And home prices in America have already started to fall. So the desired effects are showing up. It will take time for that to hit other parts of the U.S. economy. So in your opinion, will 2023 be a better year for investors than 2022? Yes, I do think it will be. Weaker growth in the year ahead doesn't necessarily mean weaker markets. In fact, we actually see a stronger outcome for uh, investors in the year ahead. 2022 was a dramatic reset in financial asset valuations and prices. Bond yields substantially higher, stock valuations much lower. And with a big enough zoom out, this looks like the best entry point for a balanced portfolio in over a decade. So for long-term wealth aggregators, that should really mean something to them. But digging in a little bit more there, firstly, bonds are back. This is a triple threat opportunity for investors, higher yields, opportunity for protection in that recession scenario, and capital appreciation. And for equities, you can look to pieces of the market that are already priced for a recession. So if the thing that you fear the most is already in the price, you shouldn't really have too much to worry about. And in the, this is in the space of small and mid-cap equities that historically have the highest earnings potential in the stock market. So it does feel like weaker growth for 2023, but substantially stronger markets. Sounds like better days lie ahead. Tom Kennedy, Chief Investment Strategist for J.P. Morgan Global Wealth Management, Thank you so much for sharing all of your insight. Thank you very much. Thank you.